could you have manifested all those different I mean, you know, that's, careers? That's what everyone has the option to do. And the only thing that actually stands in their way is their ego. The ego. See, at mm -hmm. conception, there's two things that have. We, like, you're clear that we just mm -hmm. said, this is not your first trip, it's not mine. No. We've all done this many yeah. times. Mm -hmm. And you know that for certain. Then you, the question is, how does that happen? And how does that take place? How do you incarnate? Mm -hmm. and, 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 and what's, the, what's that process that had that actually occur? And what actually, what actually occurs is that we, well, who we really are, and you can attest to that, is we are, we are a soul. We are so us. We are, we are a divine soul, which is conscious. We have a consciousness independent of this body. It's completely independent. We use, this is a tool. The body is a tool that we use. See, our every thought, choice, and action shakes every molecule in the universe. Because the source of our being, which is the cause of everything coming into existence, that which took on the appearance of matter, that consciousness, that's universal is that it's not male, it's not female, it's it, it, it but it's eternal. It's forever. And if you want it's where electromagnetism comes from. If you look in space, if you look at the atom, the space in the atom is conscious. See, people people don't understand this part that people understand is that, and this is the part that I struggle with when I look at, you know, like Hawkins. Oh, the, the, yeah, all Stephen these guys, Hawkins, all yeah. Stephen Hawkins mm -hmm. and all, even Einstein. Mm -hmm. See, they can never understand. See, they're they're physical. Mm -hmm. They're looking they're looking on the outside, but they can never get on the inside, because that's intuition. See, we live in the electromagnetic parameters of Earth. Uh, we are limited by our senses: sight, touch, taste, and smell. If you if you can't taste taste it, smell it, touch it, see it, it don't exist. Mm -hmm. Science does not exist. Mm -hmm. Right. And, and, and there's a thing called the nomina and phenomena. Phenomena is what we see in the physical world. The nomina is what's behind it. They just said, they just acknowledge that something's behind it, but they don't want to say what it is. So when they go all the way back to a molecule, you go, let's go back to an atom. No, let's, let's go back to a subatomic particle. No, no, let's go to a, a, a proton or electron. No, let's go to electromagnetism. Let's go to intent. There's, see, it's intelligence. What a, 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 a molecule has a membrane around it, a cell. Has one cell, you can't see it, but it's a, it's a cell. It's intelligent. Why do we know that? It takes in nutrients. It processes those nutrients. And then it has the presence of mind to get rid of the nutrients, you know what I mean, and bring in some more nutrients. That's purpose. That's intent. That's awareness. And it's consciousness. Every single physical thing on the planet, there's nothing animate and inanimate that's not conscious. Everything is conscious. And we are conscious. We are a conscious being. And we say, people say this, we are human beings. Uh, not human beings having a spiritual experience, we are spiritual beings having a human experience. But people say that, but they really don't understand it coming from ultimate reality. I'm not talking about imagination. See, imagination is not ultimate reality. That's, that's, I'm talking about that which caused everything to be. It's outside of your imagination. It's outside of the physical. We are limited, it's like this. If you could not see, and if you could not hear, and if you could not smell, would anything exist? Yeah. No. It would, but you wouldn't know it. Right, right, right. You wouldn't know it. It would, but you but it would. would. Mm -hmm. There's so much that's in existence that you don't know. Absolutely. Because you are limited, limited right. by the electromagnetic parameters of Earth, which, 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 which we are locked into with our senses. Mm -hmm. But in another uh, a galaxy and another set of circumstances or a whole other set of sense of perception, you would not even be able to identify, but they would just say see you and you couldn't see them. But they would be there. <laughs> I mean if you see people looking for life somewhere else that looks like you, you would never find that. You are never gonna find in the universe mm -hmm. another planet like Earth. Like there's no two people got the same fingerprint. Mm -hmm. There's no two braids of grass alike. 
not, 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 not two snowflakes alike, and ain't no two stars in the universe alike. They're different. And the point is that, see, everybody wants to travel physically. You travel with your mind. Your mind is faster than light. See, when we talk about ideas, it's all about ideas. See, we have everything we think about is being thought somewhere else, mm -hmm. cosmically. Mm -hmm. I mean, when you say all the information there is is available to you, it actually is. There are civilizations that are light years ahead of us, but we share a common mind. It's a common mind. Therefore, an idea like a cell phone, that's something, that's not some idea you just made up. That's something that's already been done. You just checked into it, and you just join it in. I don't care if it's cell phones, I don't care if it's TVs, I don't care if it's radio, it's all there, it's all available. Like you see, we're, they say uh, uh, four and a half billion years in existence as a, as a planet, as a, as a star, as a, as, a, as a planet. There are planets and solar systems and galaxies a million light years away. There are billions of years ahead of us in terms of development. I mean, billions. Of, can you imagine what it would look like if Earth, if man actually continued to develop for a billion years? His technology. Can you imagine what that would look like? Well, that's how far civilizations are ahead of us in terms of what there is to go. But you ain't got to access it physically. You can access it with your mind. There's no way you cannot go in the universe. There's no place you cannot go if you focus on it, because it's. It's not, it's not, see, your mind thought travels faster than light. See, you can, if, if, if what do you say, um, light travels at what? 13 um, million, 13 trillion miles a second. No, 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 it's 13 million, yeah, 13, it's, it's 186,000 miles a second, but it was another, it was another, it was, it was another uh, uh, breakdown that gave you the sense that it's impossible for you ever to travel 100,000 light years, a million light years away. You can't. See, if light travels 186 miles an hour, in 186,000 miles in a second, one second, that means in two seconds it's gone 400,000 miles. How far would it go in a year? What about 100 years, 100, 100 light years? What about 1,000? You got places that are 10, million light years away. You, 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 you have any sense of how far, you're never going there physically. You can't go there physically. You don't even need to. It's not even necessary. You will go there at another level of consciousness when you get past what you need to do here. You'll go there. That's just a reality. And like we talk about the Big Bang Theory. See, we, there, are, there are as many universes as there are stars. Mm -hmm. See, this is a universe, it's a physical universe. It's made up of 13 trillion galaxies. But this is one of trillions of universes. Right. It's, it's, <laughs> you know, see, when you, you, when you see a black hole, when you know, it, it takes all that, all the stars, when the star blows up, it takes, it takes everything in it, all the stars, everything, it's going into the black holes. There's another side to it. It explodes, mm. and it's a big bang again. It just goes, it's a cycle. Everything on this side is gonna go in, come back out on the other side, pow, and it expands. It just, it's a constant, it's constant movement, but it doesn't really matter, because that's, we, who we are, is that which caused it to be. We are one with that. See, when you align with the source of your being, you become, you are now ubiquitous. You're everywhere. That's why you have the ability to affect. You can make the sun shine. You can make it rain. And you can make it not rain. It's not difficult to do. Why wouldn't you? Because you are aligned with that which causes all that to occur. Consciously. Yes, that's why I said your every thought, choice, or action shakes every molecule in the universe when you align with the source of your being, which is makes you ubiquitous, makes you everywhere at once. When they say we are gods, we literally are. The only way you ever will meet face to face, you're looking at them. 
You never gonna meet him. <laughs> if you want, if you, if you, if you want, if you say, "What does God look like?" What do you think God looks like? Shut your eyes. That's what God looks like. Because right. everything came out of that. Everything. See, people. See, the thing that oftentimes people do, man anthropomorphizes God. They create a person. He's not a person. He definitely ain't a man. Right. But they create a person with a face, mm -hmm. with hands and feet and eyes and a nose and a beard. And and, 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 and I'm just don't just not. I said, come into the corner. Okay, let's not go there. I'm the only way for them to understand. They thought they lived in a physical universe. They couldn't understand that this that ain't physical at all. You know, it's not this. It's, it's not everything. When we talk about the universe and we talk about quantum, you talk about electromagnetism. What is that? Where is it located? It's located in in space. Space is eternity. That's what's eternal. Time is what you can see. Stars, they, that's physical. That's time. Space is, is that which gives material its existence. It comes out of that. Electromagnetism is inside of space. The space in the atom is, a, is conscious. Everything, and when you can align with the space that's in you, you talk about healing. You heal yourself. You have there's no there's nothing that you can't heal. Plus your body is inside your mind. When you know that your body is in your mind, you say, What's what's my problem? Oh, okay. You can fix that. Mm -hmm. it's, there's nothing you can't heal. Because it's all in you. It's, you're in, it, it, it's in you. The body is, is just an, an illusion. You exist outside of this. You don't know that because you've been conditioned from birth to believe you live in a solid physical world. It's not. It's an illusion. You have absolute, you are the cause of every effect. There's nothing you cannot have, there's nothing you can be, do, and have anything you believe you can. Literally, that is true. That is a fact. Mm -hmm. That's an what absolute are you fact. Michelle, I know you are a healing I, well, expert and energy worker. How are you feeling at this moment? What would you well, what's, what's really extraordinary, I mean, Bill, geez, I thought we were sitting down to just chat about oh, this. No. And, and what I got, but what I got. He's a teacher, and he's, he's been doing this all his life. Because, because this was completely auspicious, not mm -hmm. predicted, mm -hmm. kind of mm -hmm. unfolded in a cosmic way that, you know, as I'm sitting here witnessing to the real reason we're all sitting here right now, mm -hmm. which was that download right there, mm -hmm. Um, mm -hmm. that were really just space holders here, yeah, right. mm -hmm. you know, and that I am you, you are me, Absolutely. we are one, one, and that whatever the design of this, right, exactly. you know, uh, was that we had, I believe we had a divine appointment, if Absolutely. you will. No uh, Carolyn Mace no uh, is a very renowned, you know, a Chicago-based author, you know, healer and so forth. And, and she, you know, discusses that, one of the many teachers in, in my journey. But, you know, um, to, uh, and, and back to you saying, healer, heal thy, thyself. Yeah, thyself. Um, yeah. But, you know, to, to recognize that the, you know, and they, and they talk about this when I went to, you know, was in sort of a doctorate, you know, mm -hmm. uh, energy healing program that, you know, the more expanded program is really just the more healing that you're doing of yourself, it's it's about us getting out of the way and allowing right. that to come, come through. Exactly and I wanted right. to go exactly into a complete right. space of right. silence right. because I got that all we were doing was holding space right. here right. for this to you know come through you because mm -hmm. that was just the most extraordinary, mm -hmm. blessed you know um, you know conversations with God. I mean you know but yeah, it's conversations with Bill Jackson. Uh, bravo. Uh, but 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 the explanation that you gave really gives uh, you know um, uh, the 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 other side of it. If you were sitting here as a very um, you know what whatever just you know robotic um, okay, right. uh, you know salesperson you know going through the you know the dogmatic you know whatever you were told you know uh, exactly and 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 that's when we're talking about what the real essence of who God is right, exactly. you know. All anybody is ever talking about is something that they were taught right. to do to project right, right. and 
Right. Exactly, and 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 that gets into a you know a whole deeper quantum conversation, um, right. you know about what it really is. But 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 this beautiful explanation really gives the um, uh, the the you know it 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 holds that space for why you're so passionate and why this is so necessary. Oh yeah. Um, really even right. something as small as this, because. We really need to protect that container, yeah. that which you can't see, yeah, yeah. that is what you explain, that is w what withholds the soul. Right. And one of, uh, in, in uh, you know, when we were taught in school, uh, they actually talked about different uh, drug-related issues and what chakra they would impact. Okay, right. You know, let's okay, just give it. an I example. Know. Cocaine really you know, messes with the soul level, right? right? Okay. You know, so so anyway, I'm just giving You're an example, right? you know, whereas uh, alcohol is more like the third chakra right. and, you know, right. uh, pot's more like the, you know, the right. third eye. Right. Anyway, so we can get into that as well as the second. But um, but we're talking about, like, the, the, the container in which we need to protect that holds the soul that allows us to receive that, which is the spiritual energy right. to come through so that we can be that expression yes. of truth, truth of who exactly. we really are because right. everything right. else is just getting the clutter is getting in the way right. and right. the way that the matrix is set up to dumb us down Absolutely. you know and dropping chemicals Absolutely. on us and anyway we don't want to you know go down the rabbit hole right. right you know there's those of us who took the red and blue pill right, right. you know and <laughs> and if you didn't you know if you didn't get that message somewhere right. along the line you couldn't have held that kind of a spa extraordinary space okay, right now right. to, to mm -hmm. channel that. And we couldn't be here as holding space, you know, wit yeah, witnessing right. to that which just came through right. you. So that's why I feel like there's, uh, you know, um, the extraordinary, uh, you know, a witnessing of it is that there was a divine appointment for this to come through. I you know, I so, um, well yeah. Said. And let me ask you, who are some of the clients you help? Who are the people, if they come to you, how do you help them? Well, here's uh, my journey, you know, post school really started on a level, and what I noticed was really fascinating because um, I, um, I noticed, uh, you know, even in my younger years that, you know, as, as an empath, that, uh, that which made it difficult for me to be around others because I would pick up on, you know, things subconsciously and, you know, tune into stuff. And it's still, you know, it, you know it's something that, you know, all, in all of our journeys we teach best what we most need to learn. So what I needed to learn was the energetic boundaries, mm -hmm. right? And that's, that's a whole life journey. But that led me on that path to understand, well, how can I, you know, uh, do what I, I, you know, best came into, you know, to, to learn, but to hold space with it. It becomes, you know, sort of part, part of your past. So if I'm holding space for somebody individually, you know, I've had, man, and, and again, it's me holding space for the divine to come through me. I, I never really, you know, take credit for that. I'm just taught the tools to, you know, to, to hold space. But but I, I have had women who have struggled with fertility issues, have breakthroughs and being able to conceive and have a child and um, uh, part of my daughter coming through um, was part of that journey, you know, and, uh, you know, have many women that, you know, have, um, I have, you know, testimonials to the fact that they were able to have a breakthrough. And back to what you were talking about, we're so convinced and we're sold this this pill and this drug and da 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 and whatever to try to change uh, things on the material level. The material if level. the issue didn't start and nine, almost ninety nine percent of the time, it, the whatever the yeah hundred percent of the time. Well, okay, well we got to give that you know little fraction you know percent of uh, you know percentage of doubt. Well, we can't just just say a hundred percent, right? No, no, you know. Like but anyway, in the blockchain, okay. show you some cryptocurrency okay. you know kind of uh, metaphors <laughs> in the blockchain that exists around you know our realities. We have to be able to change things and uh, that's probably why I believe in the whole you know well that's a whole other conversation around the financial realm and you know what they've convinced us to believe about who we really are and who we're not so that's a whole you know concept for another time and you know how the matrix is built of which
which I've studied, you know, sort of contract law and, and, and those dynamics. So, you know, but it, but it frees you up. And, and I know in my journey, I've uh, wanted to seek things to be freed up from that which is projected upon us as truth. You know, be it on the on the, the material realm or on the spiritual realm. You know, it's all you know. There's we've right. all been indoctrinated, oh, and yeah. we yeah. have to really get out of the way, yeah, but right. to yeah. understand yeah. that, yeah. right? Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Let me finish uh, by sharing with you um, about how I work with clients, um, uh -huh. and uh, you know, it's it's. It, I think it's fascinating to most because we're dealing with the unseen realm to know that you can actually hold space to cause concrete results in someone's life. And mm -hmm. so um, I was trained, believe it or not, in a state certified school. Really? And, and for energy therapy to be state certified, at the time that I went to school, there was only two in the country. Mm -hmm. And uh, the other school was in Florida, Barbara Brennan, who's a very renowned NASA physicist, who wrote a number of books called like the hands of light and so forth um, you know in order for them to become state certified schools they had to prove that you could actually change mm -hmm. you know things on a concrete level or cause changes by using the energy tools be it you know the chakra reconstruction and so forth um, most people don't even know what a chakra is let alone that you can actually hold space for reconstruction and what that means and that you know we're dealing with different uh, matrix, you know, patterns, and so part of my holding space is to be able to, to witness to in a very clear sentient. There's clear voyance, clear audience, clear sentience in a in a clear sentient uh, type of way. That tends to be my prim primary modality. Not that those those other ones don't exist, um, but to hold space to be able to notice, you know, certain patterns and to be able to detect, you know, what's going on to change the energy field so that that person almost like getting your hair done, mm -hmm. you know, uh, you know, quaffing the field from the inside out when they get up off the table, it's like, oh, wow, you mm -hmm. know, the before and after is really kind of a sparkling effect. So what I've um, chosen to do, because I realized that, you know, part of the education level um, on, on that level is very, you know, challenging. I mean, that which uh, Bill just shared is, uh, uh, you know, not the norm. You know, um, there are many people on a spiritual path, but they might be still caught caught up in some very sense of dogma. Reason, even, well, even in nature, uh, you know meditation groups and so forth. Words, you know, yeah. so so uh, really, it's it's a very rare, um, precious uh, you know gem to be able to hold that space of consciousness mm -hmm. to you know mm -hmm. to recognize things from a larger level that are not attached to you know whatever dogmatic sure. you know uh has the or, or leaders or gurus or whatever mm -hmm. you know I'm, I'm i'm sensitive to that as well mm -hmm. but what i've elected to do just from a financial perspective is to recognize all these tools in which i can hold uh for an individual on a space i consciously took into my current um, consulting, you know, with, uh, you know, the largest cryptocurrency ATM company, uh, you know, on the globe um, by volume, which is based out of Chicago here, CoinFlip. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. And um, the account that I, you know, uh, took on um, uh, and, and closed uh, in, in Colorado just this last fall, um, I, as I was moving into a space of, of holding space for manifesting that client, I was clear that, and, and this goes into sales, most of us are trying to change other people's minds on the material level, like matter changing matter, when in reality, um, you know, in, in order to, what I what I was uh, meditating on and what came through was in order to uh, facilitate the the um, the CEO of this company to uh, change his you know to to alter his consciousness around um, you know taking on hosting our ATMs. It took me a couple months, and what I recognized as I was, you know, meditating, holding space, and doing energy changes is every time I talked to him, he's like, oh, I've, I've got a headache or something, and I'm like, oh, the energy stuff is working, right? Mm -hmm. You know, so I'm, I'm consciously working 
with um, the quantum field and both the, you know, the folks that I'm working with as well as causing changes with the business to hold space for something greater because in reality, um, I'm not just about causing the results on that limited um, financial realm with the business that I'm, I'm doing business with. I'm recognizing that I'm a change agent mm -hmm. for that which is holding space for the um, change dynamic in our entire financial system across mm -hmm. the globe. Mm -hmm. So who I am is much larger than the role, the limited role that I'm playing there. And I see this even with, you know, what Bill's talking about here because, um, you know, whether it's this company or, the, you know, or, or, or somebody else, it's the, the reality around us needing to hold space for um, not having the energy fields of our children impacted such that they'll be sterile growing up and not, you know, able to bear children or having, you know, impacts in their fields. I mean, what I recognize as an energy therapist is we get holes in our field, you know, that yeah. certain entities come through and mm -hmm. get disturbances in the mind, which then can cause addictive kind of stuff and, you know, um, anger and emotional disturbances and so forth and that really kind of impacts our reality there's a, a lot of different ranges of things so you know i i believe in you know um holding space for something as profound as that as i do for the financial uh you know uh being a financial change agent across the planet i just see my role there as being limited compared to that higher goal so i'm always focused on holding space for the higher goal recognizing that I'm just in this limited role in relation to that at this point in time. Awesome. Okay.